Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And, well, eagle-eyed viewers will notice that it is 1902. Now, <laughs> this has happened for a couple of reasons. One is when the beta version went into the live branch, the saves didn't carry over it. I wasn't aware that was going to happen. Uh, it didn't happen last time. Uh, but I was suspicious that it might happen. So, um that's why the 1890 campaign over. That's why I did the 1890 videos because I thought nah, I'm prob there's probably going to be another reset or something. So we are in 1900. It's a 1900 start. Uh, and I have done two years in game already. Um, and the first war has broken out. It is between Austria Hungary and ourselves. Um, yeah, why would we <laughs> uh, unacceptable behavior yet? So yes, war between us and the Austro-Hungarians. Our budget skyrockets, um, which means I can now max out the tech budget and begin more uh, shipyard construction, uh, which just finished, by the way, because I, I started that off. Um, I'll, we will show off the ships that we have. And in between... Uh, the last episode in this one, I, I've kind of decided on what I want in terms of a campaign theme, and it is going to be another artisan campaign, but I am only going to do the capital ships. So all the capital ships are going to be completely unique, which means that we have a vested interest in keeping old hulls around. So I'm going to sh show off the ships that we have. Uh, we also have one under construction. Um... We have a whole bunch of veteran crews, which is actually under 107 apparently been fixed. So we might have a slight advantage there. Um, we'll, we'll see if that that is true for, for ships that we build later on. Um, but let's have... Oops, no, not new design. That's not what I meant to press. Uh, we do have... Well, maybe I will. We do have this old, the Dreadnought 1. Um, I don't have a ship building for it yet. Uh, and I'll explain that when I get to, to the text. So, first off, we have the Gascon returning. Um, I tried to keep the ships as similar as I could to their 1890 uh, versions. They've obviously had a little bit of a refit um, and some upgrades and things. Most of the fleet is using this kind of shell setup. Uh, similar armor schemes and the like, but um, the Gascon here with its six nine-inch guns. Uh, then we have the Quebec with six ten-inch guns. The Condorcet, which was our star of the 1890s, uh, killing, I think, four battleships by herself, um, has returned with her six 11-inch guns. We then have the Indomitable, which we never got to see in action, but uh, is, is, is around, it's still here. And I was kind of discussing this ship with a chat. This is the Tourville, which is the next hull along, and this has 13-inch guns and a whole mess of secondaries. Now, I didn't stop there, because you get loads more hulls, uh, next one was the Valorous, and I think the French have decided that the 12-inch gun is a very nice option. Uh, so this one goes back down to 12-inch guns and has a whole mess. I think those are, yeah, those are 4-inch guns. Um, so a huge amount of firepower. Then um, the French decided to well, go with something a little bit different and with the Ocean class. So this changes out the secondary four-inch concentrations for a set of oars and uh, some six-inch guns. <laughs> France gets too many hulls. Not for me, because I'm only allowed one ship per hull. Um, or, uh, well, one... No, no, that's not true, actually. I, I can design variations on the same hull, but I can't have duplicates. Then we have the Jogul de Marie, uh, which apparently has errors, but uh, is basically just a bigger ocean <laughs> with more more guns, just 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 more. Um, and uh, then we have the Requin. 
Now this is the one of the new hulls. This is our most up-to-date battleship, and yes, it does feature a Q turret. Um, and a whole bunch of four inch guns. Um, and she is already in service. She's, she's out there. She's, she's, she's ready to go. Uh, and we also have under construction, uh, she's a few months away from being finished, the Terrible, which is kind of a variation on the Requin. Um, but she has even bigger secondary guns. She has six inch secondary guns. Uh, but kind of plays plays on a theme. But the Requin, she is our currently our biggest, most powerful ship in service and yes all the cues <laughs> um we also have a heavy cruiser this is the cerebe or cereb Cere seb 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 that, that's right we also have our light cruiser that's la glacionaire forgive my french pronunciation thank you very much for the follow vesti one two three four nine uh, very kind of you um, pretty nice light cruiser actually three seven inch guns because uh, I couldn't fit jewels and these are all two inch um, uh, we then have our destroyer now this is a I was shocked at how nice a destroyer this was thousand tons exactly 35 knots um, and yeah maximum bulkheads Loads of armor and a ton of three-inch guns. One, two, three, four, five, six of them. Um, although, apparently it doesn't have a rangefinder. That's not right. I'm sure I put a rangefinder on her. Oh, well, uh, something for the for the refit. Um, we, we will be getting new rangefinder text soon. Um, <laughs> the, the CL. <laughs> yes, it's a, it's a light cruiser. <laughs> Behold! <laughs> Not particularly fast at 23 knots, but, you know, nothing in the fleet is fast. Pretty much everything does 20 knots, apart from the Dart, which does 35, um, and the, the Light Cruiser, which does 23. Everything else is doing 20. So that's what we have. Now, um... The problem I have with the darts is I can't actually build them because <laughs> they're above their displacement. Um, and the other reason I don't want to refit them right now is I'm getting coincidence two range finders uh, pretty soon. So as soon as this happens, I'll, I'll refit those DDs to, to, fit, to fit the uh, fit the range finders. Um, like I said uh, to Twitch chat, it, it's taken me this. This is a lot of work to get to this point. It's about four hours work. Um, getting building the fleet and then having it eaten by a save uh, problem and then uh, a crash and then uh, having to rebuild it all again and then going through the, the the two years so we we I'm currently trying to get to turbines so I can build a proper dreadnought because speed is one of the big problems that we have so I've got multiple expansion two in two months and then it'll probably be mm, probably about eight to ten months later we'll we'll get uh we'll, we'll get turbines and then i can start on dreadnought the terrible is six months away so i'm kind of hoping terrible comes off the production line and then we'll start on a on a dreadnought um the thing is i do have a new hull um opened up just just as it happens and that is this one the armored cruiser six so uh, i thought now that we're at war we should probably get some more ships in the water and it might as well be uh, a new class of uh heavy cruiser something like that uh, da -da -da -da. But you can see what text I currently have available. So the multiple expansion engines are new. We do have Crook 1, which is pretty nice. 
Now then, uh, you can't do queues on the on these holes, unfortunately. Um, it's really irritating. Now I think a nine-inch gun is probably a good bet. Although I think that's what the survey has, so maybe we'll go for a ten-inch gun, just so it's bigger. Uh, Tower nine, okay. Yeah, I'll go for something like that. Uh, I want it to do at least 20 knots. Um, I guess I could have two funnels go a little bit faster in that case. I'm just watching the displacement doesn't jump up by a crazy amount. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, 22 knots? No, 21. There we go. So it is a little bit faster. Uh, have I ever played Project Zomboid? No, I can't say that I have. Um, I have fitted cues where I can. <laughs> uh, then we're looking at Secondary guns. Now, I think this is one of the weird ones that might take us. No. You might take a dual five. No. It's insisting on single guns, isn't it? Right. Uh, thank you for the follow. Uh, G4E. Is that right? Mm, place the secondary tower in the middle of the ship. doesn't help because it, it won't place a part there it's a good idea though uh, and you can't put a turret in here because these uh, boat cranes get in the way right what about casements two inch it's probably going to be a mess of two inch guns then just like I did before hmm I could I could mix up dual twos and single twos. Yeah, let's go for something like that. Mm -hmm. Onion. The onion class. Yeah, sure. Um, right. Uh, standard ratio caps, caps, TNT, white powder, heavy, enhanced, electrical, with a coincidence range finder. That's all fine. The 10 inch guns don't have a great rate of fire, so I'm just going to leave them as they are. But the 2 inch guns can be extra long. Uh, otherwise, I think I've been going with a 12 6 on the heavy cruisers. They've been pretty well protected. Uh, let's go 3 2 2 2 2 2. Um, turret. Oh, 14 4. Yeah, that'll do. Um, 3 inch 1.5 inner. Happy enough with that. Um, yeah, pretty happy with that, to be honest. We get. No. Can't get any extras. Oh, we can get spacious crew quarters. There we go. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, I've genuinely been going for round numbers. Do you think when Russia and Japan are both in the campaign, they'll start with negative relations? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, actually. They might do. They might do. So, similar, so you get the... Uh, Russo-Japanese war. That's 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 an interesting one. I don't know. I don't know. 
Uh, but would be interesting if they did. Right, I'm going to move this turret back a little bit. I know, I know I've got an offset problem. I'm going to fix that with the funnels. Go. Le onion class. Which holes are new for the French? I'll show you in just a moment. Um, so yes, we have this thing, but they will hopefully be useful for us now that war is kicked off. So I'm going to save the design. Uh, so the new holes are, well, I only have two of them unlocked. One is this one. This is the experimental battleship, uh, and I have built the Requin on that. And then the, there is the experimental Dreadnought, which is this one, the Terrible. Um, but they're weird. They kind of sit between Dreadnoughts and pre-Dreadnoughts. They're, 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 they're odd ships. Anyway, we'll get rid of the Justice. Right, we should start building some of those. Now, uh, I can't see the breakdown of ships, but I, I know I have a much smaller fleet than everybody else. Um, we currently have nine heavy cruisers. I might order, I'm gonna order six of those new onions. Because they'll take 15 months. Um, do, 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 do. You did a consult the Oracle, did you? Uh, let's have a look. Must have been when chat was going crazy. No, don't see it. Can you post? You don't have to pay for it again. Um, just, just post the question again. <laughs> Hello there, Enterprise. Um, so we, we have loads of money. That's good. Um, our economy is suffering. It's lagging behind the rest. That's just because of the start that we had. Looks like Italy's going to join the war. Uh, and so is Germany. So it would be nice if we could deliver a knockout blow. They've got They've got about six battleships over here. Uh, and now I do have our battleships that are just sitting right here. Um, so I was hoping to maybe persuade the enemy to come out and meet us. Now this lot I'd like you to build out of Nice, please. Right, so we're just going to go... We're going to go uh, see if we can... Shake the Austrians loose. Uh, what's the best warship I've been on board? Ooh, good question. Um, I'm just going to say HMS Victory. Um, <laughs> yeah, th th they are based on the Dantons. You're absolutely right. Uh, hate to rock, but kind of in the in the middle somewhere <laughs> hey mickey how you doing uh yeah i'm pissing off the italians but who cares boom <laughs> well that's kind of what i was hoping would happen and gives us a chance to see all the different ships at once <laughs> yeah Turbines. Th that's the tech I'm missing. I really need turbines to make a dreadnought properly. Right, let's have a look. Wow. They're tiny. Look at these tiny, tiny battleships compared to our monsters. Um, anyway, they have four 12-inch guns. They're not very fast. They only have 38% armor quality. Yikes. We're rocking 80%. Oh dear. Heavy cruisers might be a bit more of a challenge. 
Uh, they carry a couple of torpedoes. There's a lot of them. And 8 inch guns. Mm, they're also. I'm noticing everything is very slow. And then we have a bunch of destroyers. They're quite quick. And some torpedo boats. Right. Well. What three ships would I like to visit or wish were possible to visit? I wish I could go on Warspite. Or literally any <laughs> Age of Steel British battleship. Um, I think Warspite would be a really interesting one. Um, uh, I'd love to go on a Vanguard class nuclear ballistic submarine. <laughs> <laughs> which is a real ship <laughs> but obviously for reasons I'm not allowed um uh, third one hmm don't know I have to think about the third one uh right <laughs> will this motley collection <laughs> be able to do things right um yeah you are a 20 knot ship I'm just gonna put you in all in one big line behind Tourville So yeah, we have Tourville. I don't know. Oh, don't even recognize Marine ships. Valorous. Jolgui, Bali, and Que Quebec. And then they're gonna form up. But there here we have Ocean. Ocean. This one is in Dauntable, I think. Yeah. Oh, um. Requan. Yeah, I can recognize my own ships. How about that? And then. This is. That one might be Condorcet. No, it's Gascon. Here's Condorcet. And then we have. Marciers, who, although a cruiser goes the same speed, is around the same displacement, has nine inch guns, and her armor kind of like the the cruisers in the French fleet are pretty much second class battleships. So hopefully, especially if I turn that off, we'll be able to uh, form some sort of line at some point. Um, if, especially if I slow down, make speed about 14 knots. Yeah, I just, I just love to go. Whoa, Jesus! <laughs> Two of you. Taking a nasty hit right off the bat. What was that from? 12 inch gun. Hmm. Rude. And another nasty hit. And it's not like my ships are uh, unarmoured. Taking on some flooding as well. Getting some hits in return, finally. Bom, bom, bom. Yeah, a bit of a bloody nose indeed. to stray too close. We 
don't know the capabilities of these ships at all. Ow! Just nasty stuff. They're pulling out. Oh, that's some good damage back, though. Fleet is clear to uh, engage their own targets. Oh my word, that was a huge hit. Yikes. Okay. Not quite sure why we're aggressively trying to murder this ship back here, but... Alright. to a flinging match. Right. We got some IDs. Yeah, this is a heavy cruiser. What shells are using? Ballastite TNT. Reduced number of shells. Well, they're almost out of their HE shells already. Uh, they're not super well armoured, these. Okay. Uh, we've got anything else ID'd yet? <laughs> Just chaos. I'm hoping the enormous amount of secondary fire that I can throw out helps uh, deal with all the smaller ships that they've got. Yeah, damage-wise, really just the Tourville, taking those nasty hits early on. I don't know what requires is up to. As I thought, the cruiser's proving to be kind of the backbone of the Austrian fleet. So far, wow, there's a lot of them. Gascon charging ahead. Yeah, I don't know what these ships think they're up to. Requiem is supposed to be behind Marciers. Indomitable's supposed to be behind Ocean. Yeah, they're just not forming up quickly. Should have just left them in their different groups. It's a nice big chunky hit on one of the heavy cruisers. You can turn a little bit. Ooh. Yeah, a lot of shells going everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, the, the, these uh, heavy cruisers have already run out of their HE ammunition for their main guns. Which is quite surprising. What kind of shells do they have? Nose fused... Standard AP shells. Okay. Just a 
big old mess of cruisers. Let's go. Kill that destroyer. With urgency. Oh, nice. Blew up one of the torpedoes. And the other one doesn't seem to have fired. And got blown up anyway. Excellent. Why are you going so close? <laughs> like, why are you going like... Just... Just form up. Oh, jeez. Condorcet is just eager for a kill. That's all it is. Uh, what do you... Uh, what do you think? If any other nations had to do the trip, what would they have done better than the Russian 2nd Pacific Squadron? Literally everything. Uh, <laughs> basic competence... I think is uh, the main problem that they had. Right, St. Istvan. Actually, it's not a bad design. 12-inch guns. Yeah, armor is, armor is the weak point. Terrible armor. But I don't hate them. Artisan fleet maneuvers, yeah. Quite. I think they are very slowly starting to get a grip. Big, big hits on that uh, cruiser. St. George. Oh, fuck. I thought they had side torpedoes. Oh, Condorcet, not your battle. can pull out. Got way too close anyway. Glory Hound. It's like, no, we want more kills. Mm -mm. No auxiliary en engines or anything, so Condorcet probably going to struggle. She's turning just now. Of course, she turns like an absolute tub. Try and relieve the pressure by blowing up the cruisers. Come on. Get to the bottom of you. Can 
obviously suffering from flooding. New. No. God damn it. Well, clearly her captain not quite as lucky as the previous ones. Oh, division temps down here, they are they're a bit a little bit cursed at the moment, if I'm honest. It's a real shame. Thought the Condorcet would keep going, but yeah, just too much flooding. They keep hitting me with these bloody enormous guns. Well, they're not enormous, but you know what I mean. Heavy, uh, heavy 12-inch shells. Not a big fan. Let's see if we can get rid of one of their battleships. Battleships are easier to kill than the cruisers. Still worth removing them. Uh, fire and maneuver. Hmm. Okay, I'll give it a look. Uh, could you send me a steam link or something? On the Discord, but I don't know. Well, I'd appreciate that. Let's fire our own 12 inch guns. How are you firing at that one? The Rosetsky. Interesting. Condor save the second, yeah. You're right. She should. <laughs> I think she just hit three different ships there. I'm trying to fire on the Rosetsky. to focus on the Zirini, to be honest. Right, let's risk a little bit of time acceleration. on that one. Quebec, that one. Gascon, that one. You, that. You, that one. Do a bit more manual fire control. Again, I mean, Tourville has already, he's supposed to be going to the back. <laughs> Ocean's languishing behind. Uh, here comes the Requin. Finally, our most powerful ship enters the battle. Properly. Ammo debts and all sorts going on in the Rosetsky. One, shoot. Thank you. Go back. There's a torpedo boat right there. Let's 
destroyed its torpedo. Perfect. Shoot the other one. Thank you for the follow, Mr. Viewer 12. It's absolute chaos here at the moment. Whoa! A flying turret. That's what I like to see. Big one, too. I think I just, another one just exploded. Sounded like something exploded. Battleship down. Very good. Thank you for the follow, Ebag Alpha. <laughs> space start the space race early. Big hits on the Rosetsky. Hmm. Cruiser, the, yeah, their cruisers are just so much tougher because they've actually put uh, good armor on them. Crip one, whereas the battleships were using compound. <laughs> oh well, fits a theme, I guess. The uh, 1890. Uh, Austro-Hungarian battleships were absolute trash as well. Down goes the Innsbruck. Right, my computer's starting to speed up now. <laughs> I think that's all their battleships down. Definitely worth trying to reduce this cruiser fleet as much as we can. Here's another one. Oh, good damage. Very good damage. And sunk. Right, increased flank. Because the AI is probably going to start. Well, not running, but trying to remove themselves from the situation, most likely. Look at 
at that damage differential. Good grief. Yeah, oh no, I won't forget. Well, I'll probably just call it the Condor Saint again. <laughs> Rather than the two, it's not really something the navies did very much. Monsieur, you appear to have a target lock bug. Or you're just thinking about who you want to shoot next. goes another heavy cruiser. Mm -mm. Oh, nice hit. lurking somewhere there's a there's a blanked out silhouette of one I think light cruiser sinks There is. There's, there's a ship over here shooting at me. Can't see it though. Not the cruisers. Looks like they're picking on the Tourville. Trying to. Require just. Hosing them with four inch shells. Yeah, 12 inch def. Look at that, just every single caliber except seven inch. sunk do mm -hmm. sorry just focusing on the uh, Kaiser and Elizabeth right now she sunk one of the light cruisers that was annoying her don't know what oh the 
Jean Guibari is trying to go behind Tourville. Explains why she's being so weird. Heading right for the Kappenberg. She's going to get torpedoed for her trouble. into the sinking wreck. Right, Tourville you can detach as well. Endless cruises. Jesus. Oh. Yes, exactly. Uh, a caliber for all occasions. Also, I had to give you a resupply officer. Absolute nightmares. Steer not far behind. First place onion. Thank you very much for the 100 bits. Uh, you'll be able to know we have an onion class ship on the way. Oh, sorry, the onion. <laughs> 15 inch guns. I do. I do like the 15 inch. Oh, hello. Crews are exploding everywhere. Still exploding everywhere. the Triton back there actually surrendered on 0% structure. I don't think maybe they surrendered beforehand and the fires were just burning out of control. Oh wow, Indomptable actually out of 12 inch gun ammunition. Kaiser and Elizabeth suffering a few uh, explosions. <laughs> the onion, yes, quite right. <laughs> they are shell sponges for sure. But then again, they're nothing compared to our own. <laughs> Which we haven't really seen in action because I haven't blobbed them up. But we'll have some more. Particularly those uh, onion class ships. They will they will take a battery. Go. 
Good, 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 good. One heavy and one light remaining. <laughs> Timur air. It's certainly good. Condor say it's going to be our next one, though. There we go. Now then, I wonder if the enemy is prepared to show themselves. And we know there's a light cruiser hiding somewhere, which is presumably here somewhere. Somewhere back there. <laughs> Let's hope the others don't make you cry. <laughs> uh, ah, yep, yeah, there she is. The Polar. Oh, nice hit. Who was that? It was the Tourville. Good shot. Another nice hit. Blew up a torpedo. A massive hit. That one from the ocean. Who is all the way over there. South west, eh? Well, unless they uh, are a lot closer than I thought. Probably going to have to end the battle here. I'm annoyed though because I think it is a battleship. Hmm. To the south. Hmm. Hey, dummy. How you doing? Nah, I'm gonna I'm gonna end the battle here. I don't think we're gonna come across it. We're still under times ten. Oh, it wasn't. It was a heavy cruiser. Okay, I don't mind that. Well, <laughs> quite quite the uh, kickoff. I am annoyed about losing uh, Condorcet, but she will be rebuilt. Bigger, better, and faster. 
And uh, yeah, take it out. Four battleships and 16, well, 15 heavy cruisers, I guess. Very, very nice. Uh, do you know what? Yeah, we'll we'll talk peace. <laughs> um, why would I want to declare war against Germany right now? No, not particularly. Uh, Germany's not at war with anybody else, are they? No, no, I don't, don't need to. Yeah, perfectly friendly with Germany, sort of. Still, though, uh, one in the eye for the Austro-Hungarians. They've got lots of stuff left, but that was a huge, huge amount of uh, damage. Um, most of the battleships will be ready again in a month. Um, and then, yeah, a couple of months for the others. Right, it'd be nice if we could get some more... Stuff over there. Uh, yeah, there's three cruisers here. We can send a couple more cruisers. I'm going to have one heavy cruiser over like that as well. <laughs> we want more! No, not like that. Yes, they lost 20. I think it was a bit more than 20% of their fleet, actually. Um. Although I'm not sure. It, it, roughly. But I think, uh, yeah, that, that was a heavy blow. Heavy blow to them. Uh, yeah, everything else. Fine. Research. Yeah, engines one month. Until we get the multiple two. And then we'll start on turbines. We've got Mark three, Mark two, thirteen-inch guns. So that's nice. We've got the rangefinders coming. Okay, I'm going to end the episode here, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.